This video is just on practicing synthetic division. I've got four to try, all with the same polynomial. So I'm just going to copy down this. Poly you can pause the video now and, and try these on your own. And I'll show you how to do them if you unpause it. So the first one, we're just going to copy down all of my terms, my coefficients rather, which is 3, 2, negative 37, and 12. And we're dividing by x minus 3. So we're actually going to put a 3 down here, not minus 3, but 3. Drop the first term down, first coefficient, 3. And then we do 3 times 3, which is 9. And we drop down that next coefficient, which is 11. 3 times 11 is 33. And we add those together to give negative 4. And then 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And we add those together to get me 0. So that's the remainder. And the coefficient, we started off with a cubic. So my answer is 3x squared plus 11x minus 4. And that's my other factor. I'm just going to copy down, actually, I'm going to copy those numbers across and use them again. So we're going to do another one. We're going to do fx plus, plus 4 in there, which means that we're going to have a negative 4. So we drop down the 3, we make this negative 12, we add those together, negative 10, 40, 3, negative 12, and 0. So this looks like another factor, 3x squared minus 10x plus 3. So I've actually... What I've actually found here is two factors of the polynomial, just by chance, if you like, because there's no remainder. That's one of the factors, and that's the other factor. Okay, let's try this one, the 3x minus 1. Uh, and again, I think I've copied that, the numbers down. Now, I want to do is... 3x minus 1 equals 0, x will be a third. So I'm actually doing a third of everything here. So this is just a slight change. But we follow the process. Drop 3 down. Third times 3 is 1. Add them together. Drop 3 down. That's going to give me 1 again. Add them together to give me negative 36. Times that by a third is negative 12 and remainder zero. And that is, in fact, my third factor when I set this up. So again, when I do that division, that's 3x squared plus 3x minus 36. And if I, sol if, if I solve it equal to zero, I don't want to make it equal to zero now, if I solve it equal to zero, I will get the two that I've highlighted above. So that's one last one to do. Uh, and this one can't be a factor, so this one must leave some sort of remainder, simply because I've got three factors already found. So again, I'm not dividing by minus one, I'm going to divide by minus a half. So if I make that equal to zero, x is minus a half. So drop this down, minus three over two. That gives me a half when I add them together. This gives me minus one quarter. So I'm going to need, I'm going to need my calculator here. Uh, so I'm going to do 37 times 4, which is 148. And add these together. So this is going to give me negative 149 over I'm just doing these calculations. So it's 149 plus 149 over 8. Add these together and I will get the remainder.
of 245 over 8. So this is a bit more complicated. We ended up, just because of the numbers, 3x squared plus a half of x minus 149 over 4 and a remainder of 245 over 8. But that's how you do all those synthetic divisions.